What's up turtles and tortoises? It's I Want a Turtle and today we're doing some more magic stuff. We got a little bit of everything. We got some mail, we got some booster packs, and we got some graded cards as well. So we're mixing everything up and oh, <laughs> when I was trying to set up for the video, uh, so I was like, all right, I have five booster packs here. And then I was doing something else and I quickly looked, I was like, hmm, wait a minute. I only see four packs. I was like, wait, then I counted again. Five, four, I was like, oh. Bit of a brain fart, a little trippy there. Um, so before we begin, uh, just a couple things. If you do enjoy the content, uh, definitely hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. If you're not already a sub and you do enjoy the channel, hit that sub button. Um, and we do post a video, whether it's Pokemon or Magic the Gathering related, essentially every day. We've been pretty good about that. Uh, and if you want to make sure you don't miss an episode, uh, hit that bell button. You'll basically get a notification for every single time we drop a video. And lastly, follow me on Instagram. There's a link in the description. Uh, if you want to see some of the more fiery cards uh, in the collection, especially when it comes to on the Pokemon side. All right. So, um, yeah, we got we got some mail, booster packs, some great cards. And if there's a of these three, you know, what, let me know what you'd like to see, uh, and we can try to do more of that in the future. So let me know in the comments what kind of things you'd like to see. And let's see, where should we start? Let's um, let's hit let's hit some of these graded cards first, and we'll kind of like cycle through. So, Magic the Gathering. In case you didn't know, is primarily BGS. Like obviously, there's PSA graded cards, uh, but like uh, compared to Pokemon, like it's very uh leaning towards bgs um, where pokemon is like almost entirely psa so here we have a urza's mine it's pretty cool so if you do get uh the mine tower and the power plant essentially this creates two mana pretty cool 9.5 too very good grade and then so we have a mana bond which so one deck that i'm really a fan of is lands especially on the legacy side so that's why i got these two cards uh, I just really like that land, those land decks. So, uh, yeah, these are two very good ones. Uh, one from Stronghold and one from Exodus, and this one's a 9.5. Very cool. Okay, with that in mind, let's open a quick booster pack, and then, um, yeah, we'll jump into some mail as well. Hope everyone's having a good day. It's actually uh, snowing again here. So everyone kind of rushed out of the office once it started to snow. All right. So in case you haven't noticed, I am a fan of Dominaria. And, you know, we've been opening a lot of loose packs and we're running low on those. So I'm wondering if we'll go to a booster box next, which would be very exciting. Uh, we hit, we have hit one Tafari in our openings. And um, so I wonder if we can't make it two. I have, although I even saw like a opening on YouTube where it's like he hit a foil one so that's like my new my new goal all right so for the first pack we got a spore swarm settle the score oh we do have a foil and our rare is primeval glorious rebirth and then we have a dark bargain foil all right the cameras the view is getting pretty overloaded let's just put these off to the side and let's do some mail real quick um yeah I, I know both of them are this one's actually this one's pretty cool this one's heavy so this one just has more of a volume approach to it so one in one of our previous videos we kind of talked about some some cards that i feel like have potential to become really relevant and so that i acquired some additional copies of them just in case and here is a good example so Type Taker. Uh, essentially, during your turn, opponents, it costs one additional mana. It's kind of like um, Thalia, where Thalia effect affects at all times. However, this Type Taker uh, only affects your opponent, but only on your turn. So it's definitely weaker. It doesn't have the first strike. It does have the afterlife, though. But I feel like this card has some potential. And right now, I think they're going for like $1 to $2. So very cheap. And so essentially, we bought a large number of copies and <laughs> there's like a number of when you can't really tell but each one of these is actually might be i think it's a playset so we have a bunch of copies of tight taker um i think this thing might explode all right let's see let's open a couple more of these uh all right so this is a alpha card so alpha the very first set back in 1993 um 
even when it's a common man these things these things they're i don't know about i'm not gonna call them they're not exactly rare they're, they are like common cards but there there is value to even the commons in the alpha set it's pretty crazy especially like it's not even comparable to pokemon as far as like the commons go for the original so this this card's actually really cool uh red elemental blast essentially um counters blue cards so when if you play a red deck uh, there's actually some way that you can fight back when it comes to uh, losing counter battles so this one is from a revised and all right let's jump into our next booster pack yeah and uh, I kind of mentioned this earlier but yeah let me know what whether you know you, you you'd prefer to just see pack openings uh, and dedicated mail days if you like this idea of mixing together uh, the graded cards where we show them off that one can't probably can't be too too frequent actually this is like half my collection to be honest for the magic the gathering side all right for the next pack we got fight with fire sell the score again and then a verdant force beginning of your upkeep create a 1-1 one, one green sepperling token for eight and it's a seven seven i have to say that is terrible and then we have danitha all right that was very much done let's go into the next pack yeah they the the how the two you know the two franchises kind of deviated when it comes to graded cards um although i think when it comes to even pokemon like the bgs i feel like the bgs 10 is the card needs to be in better condition compared to psa so when it comes to like the rares of the rare um I feel like a BGS 10 would get is is harder to attain than a PSA. So Wizard Lightning, nice hit, very strong card. Should put this off to the side. Wild Onslaught, and then Four Bears Blade. All right, let's keep going. All right, Elfame Druid, Goblin Barrage, and a Sylvan Awakening. Hmm, so I feel like we're not getting anything anything special in the packs. Uh, let's finish up these cards. Okay, so from Revised, we got a Millstone, kind of a, um, uh, what's the right word? Iconic card when it comes to some of the original mill mechanics. And for our last one, we have a Gobbly, Goblin Lackey from Urza's Legacy. Uh, so this card's pretty cool. Um, if you do follow us on the meta, like Goblin Lackey is one of the more, or is a very still relevant card when it comes to the Goblin uh, type decks. And I find, at first I didn't like the idea of Goblins, but then when I realized how, you know, it's actually kind of like just constant waves and an act, it's, while it's not like a control deck, but it can kind of outlast you know even some control decks I found that very cool uh, actually let's go in this last pack just because this last card this last piece of mail is actually pretty epic I must say all right so last pack of the opening so far I feel like we've gotten all duds nature spiral that's eh, kind of a cool card. I wish it was instant speed. Spawn Spore Crown Thaliad. And then Haphazard Bombardment. Ooh, that is rough. Alright, so it didn't really hit anything good on the booster packs. However, we can still end this thing on a high note with this new card. Let's just make sure there's nothing else in here. Oh, interesting. Interesting packaging. 
there we go. Actually, this feels like a very safe way to ship a card. So, let's see. Condition-wise, it's fine. And so, we have a Plateau from Revised. So, these are like the the strongest lands or what if you if you hear like dual lands because this is a fire and planes put together uh, it is a land not as opposed to basic land so it can hit it is a target for like wasteland uh, but these cards are very powerful you know it makes makes having dual colors very easy okay so that was it so we did have quite a variety um, definitely a little disappointing on the booster packs but I'm um, very cool stuff as far as the mail day and I got to show you guys some of this stuff in my uh, graded collection uh, so as I mentioned before uh, if you did enjoy the content please hit that like button uh, subscribe if you're not already and yeah let me know let me know what you guys want to see in the future when it comes to magic the gathering we did a bunch of um, Ravnica line, Allegiance and I'm not sure where to go from here so let me know in the comments what your thoughts are and we can figure it out together. Other than that, thanks for watching guys. This is Iwana Turtle and I am, uh, I'll be back next time. Later.